We need to talk, bro. And this is a video you might not expect from a channel like this, but I'm going to tell you right now to stop reading self-improvement books. They are a total fucking waste of your time, brother. The amount of people that think they're doing something because they're reading these books is insane. And I'm not even talking about, oh yeah, but just read the books but take action, because not even that is good enough. I'm not going to lie to you, self-improvement books are a total fucking waste of time. Things like the subtle art of not giving a fuck, or the untethered soul, or I don't know, like how to win friends and influence people, they are just a massive, massive waste of time, bro. Every so sorry self-improvement book says the exact same thing. You'll read this book that's 300 pages long, and what you'll learn, I can tell you, in a fucking second, is have a purpose, simplify your life, things like this. You can distill that so easily, and you're wasting so much time with these books. I mean, there's two big points you have to think about. The first one is like, look, look at these books here, right? Where do you think they've gained this information from? When you read these books, where have they gained this from? Would you not be better off just learning the things that they learn rather than reading the fucking book that gives you some like abridged, shitty version of everything? These books are random. I mean, half of them aren't even based on anything. For example, a book like The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. And I'm gonna rip this book a bit, but I'm sorry, it's just a shit book. There's nothing in it that it says of any real value that you haven't heard before. And people will read it and be like, oh yeah, that's profound. Bro, please, man. Like, that is such a shit book. It says nothing. The entire premise of the book is care about some stuff, don't care about others. Yeah, no shit, bro. Like, this is basic common sense. Self-improvement books teach you basic common sense, bro. You'd be so much better off learning actual things that are useful for your life, learning stuff that's actually useful. I'll say something else. It's like, I feel like people have this idea on self-improvement that learning and reading needs to be about self-improvement. But, but why, bro? Why are you doing this? Like, why are you trying to like max out your fucking self-improvement skill by learning all these books about exactly how to how to do these habits. And do you know what the biggest irony of it all is actually? Is so many people are so addicted to self-improvement literature that they treat it as their kind of purpose. They, they read all these books and their purpose becomes self-improvement. But self-improvement with no meaning is pointless. It means nothing. If you read something like The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck or Atomic Habits and they give you these ideas like care about some stuff but not about others or processes and create these little intricate processes to develop certain habits. Well, what does that mean if you don't actually have anything that you care about? You'd be better off going and learning other things, like now I'm learning psychology, for example, from actual real textbooks that teach the workings of the brain and different psychological conditions. Go and learn history. Learning history every single day for four or five hours a day will have a more profound effect on you than any self-improvement book will. Just trust me on that. It's just so true. The other thing, the big problem with self-improvement literature is that it's noise, bro. It's so much fucking noise. Every single one of these books is saying a different thing and making it seem like that is the one way to live. You'll read a book on Buddhism and then on stoicism. You'll read a book that says, don't do any of that, just build a business. You'll read a book about not giving a fuck. You'll read a book about how you should set massive goals, and then you'll read a book about how processes are better than goals. And this is noise, bro. All these books are great, but if you read every single one and you kind of do what it says, because I went through this phase. I'm not just ripping into self-improvement books because fuck that. I'm, went, I'm ripping into them because I went through exactly this. And now I look back on it and I'm like, what was I doing with my life, bro? Because I'd read a book like The Magic of Thinking Big. And I'd be like, okay, so I need to set some big ambitions, right? Let me, let me make some goals. And I'd write down on my wall, okay, five goals, five year plan, whatever. The Great Rat Race Escape. I'd go and read that and I'd be like, okay, brilliant. I need a fucking goal, bro. So I'd set down my, my five year, 10 year plan see. And then, I'd go and read Atomic Habits by James Clear, and he'd say, 
setting goals is bad. You need to just have processes. And then I'd be like, yeah, yeah, man, like, fucking hell, yeah, that's right. I need to make processes, and I'd get rid of all my goals, and I'd be like, okay, so now I need to be living this, like, processes life. Noise. Just noise. So much fucking noise. So much being drawn from here to there and here to there. Do you, you ever hear that thing where it's like, do you know with like business advice, it's better to stick to one business and just master it and do it well than it is to start drop shipping and agency and YouTube and doing all these different things. Well, it's the same thing with self-improvement books. You'd be better off reading one and sticking to that for the rest of your life than you would be reading fucking 50. And we can distill the ideas down, right? I can tell you about basically what every self-improvement book says so you never have to read another one again. The basic messages are always simple. Simplify your life. Don't care about, like, kind of random shit that doesn't mean anything. Stop caring about, like, these little tiny things and start caring about bigger stuff. Number three is have a purpose. It's like, have a goal in your life that you're aspiring towards. Something that you want to achieve. Some bigger picture, some end goal and image that you're trying to strive towards. Number four is set up habits and processes and things that you can do every day, little things like morning routines. That's basically it. Everything else is noise. Everything else is a waste of fucking time, bro. You'll sit there and you'll read a book for like a week, like a 400 page book, which whole message is stop caring about stuff. It's just a waste of time. Like, the, the one thing I'll say is like, so YouTube videos, okay, they're not great either. The videos I make aren't gonna like change your life in a totally profound way, but at least they're short. Like, at least I'm not fucking around and wasting your time, bro. Like, this isn't taking you, like, seven days to watch. So that's basically the message. What else did I want to speak about in this video? It was like, um, yeah, so what should you actually be learning then? I'd say just pick a field that you're interested in and learn about that. Like I said before with the whole history thing, which is like a flippant comment, but it's true. If you spent some time learning history, for example, reading history textbooks and going deep into the topic of history, the kind of the discipline and the passion and the purpose that that would bring you would be greater than any self-improvement book. So think of something you're deeply interested in. And everyone's got this kind of thing that gives them interest. Maybe it's space or computing or for me it's psychology or history or geography or conservation, anything. Game design, fucking art, I don't know. Find a topic that you're interested in and, and learn that. That is what you should be studying. That is what you should be spending your time on. You shouldn't be spending your time studying self-improvement. It's just, it's like a, it's one of those weird things. Like, it's, it's the whole self-improvement masturbation thing, basically. It's like reading all these books does nothing meaningful. I've read so many self-improvement books and never, ever have I actually stuck to what that book has taught for more than a week, a week and a half, maybe two weeks. Never. I have lived my life because of those books in periods of very unique philosophies. And only now that I've started to detach from those things and build up my own way of life by doing things I actually enjoy, do I feel good. And that is the answer, bro. Stop reading self-improvement, but create your own philosophy just by living a good life. Have a purpose, number one. Create some videos, maybe, I'm not sure. Just have something purposeful that you're working towards. And number two, learn something voraciously, if that's even the right word to use. And that's it. If you can do those two things, then you don't need a self-improvement book ever again. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, brother. Give me a call or come chat to me on the Discord and manifest excellence. I am so proud of you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.